Picture yourself floating among the clouds of a distant planet, surrounded by a deep blue atmosphere and mesmerizing ice formations. Imagine the thrill of uncovering secrets that have remained hidden for millennia. Beyond the reaches of our planet lies a world of unknown beauty and intrigue, the planet Neptune. With its swirling blue atmosphere and mesmerizing system of rings and moons, Neptune has captivated scientists and stargazers for centuries. But this distant world is not just a distant speck in the night sky. It holds secrets that will make you question what we know about the universe. Neptune. The eighth and most distant planet in our solar system is dark, frigid, and whipped by supersonic winds. Neptune, which is more than 30 times as far away from the Sun as Earth, is the only planet in our solar system that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Neptune the ice giant was the first planet discovered by mathematical calculations. Johann Gale identified the planet in 1846 using Urbain Laverrier's predictions. According to Laverrier, the planet is named after the Roman god of the sea. Its environment is unsuitable for life as we know it. This planet's temperatures, pressures, and materials are most likely too high and volatile for living beings to adapt to. On Neptune, a day lasts around 16 hours, and it completes its circle around the Sun in around 165 Earth years, or 60, 190 Earth days. Neptune's axis of rotation is inclined 28 degrees with regard to the plane of its orbit around the Sun, identical to Mars and Earth's axial tilts. This implies that Neptune has seasons as we do, but since its year is so lengthy, each of the four seasons lasts more than 40 years. When the majority of the solar system formed some 4.5 billion years ago, gravity dragged spinning gas and dust in to create an icy giant. Neptune, like its neighbor Uranus, developed closer to the Sun and traveled to the outer solar system some 4 billion years ago. Neptune is one of the outer solar system's two ice giants. The other one is Uranus. The majority of the planet's mass, around 80% or more, is made up of heated, dense fluid of icy components. Water, methane, and ammonia floating over a tiny, rocky core. It is the densest of the big planets. Scientists believe an ocean of very hot water exists underneath Neptune's chilly clouds. It does not boil away because it is trapped within by very high pressure. The surface is not solid. Its atmosphere stretches to tremendous depths, gradually evaporating into water and other dissolved ices on top of a heavier, solid core, with about the same mass as Earth. The atmosphere of Neptune contains primarily hydrogen and helium, with a trace of methane. It is the most windy planet in our solar system. The winds may be three times stronger than Jupiter's and nine times stronger than Earth's, despite its immense distance and minimal energy intake from the Sun. At more than 1,200 miles per hour, these winds whisk clouds of frozen methane across the world. Even the strongest winds on Earth reach just approximately 250 miles per hour. Neptune is one of our solar system's four planets with planetary rings. Its rings were conclusively detected in 1989 by the Voyager 2 spacecraft. Although the rings were not identified until the late 1800s, William Lassell, the discoverer of Titan, noted the presence of a ring. This, however, was never proven. The first ring was found in 1968, but experts were unable to verify whether it was complete. The evidence provided by the Voyager was conclusive confirmation of the ring's existence. Gall, Laverrier, Lassell, Arago, and Adams are Neptune's rings. Its rings were named after astronomers who made significant discoveries about the planet. The rings are made up of at least 20% dust, with some rings holding up to 70% dust. The remainder of the rings are made up of tiny pebbles. Because the planet's rings are black and fluctuate in density and size, they are difficult to discern. Astronomers believe Neptune's rings are young in comparison to the planet's age, and that they were most likely generated when one of Neptune's moons was destroyed. The Gale ring was called after Johann Gottfried Gale, 
the first person to use a telescope to observe the planet. At 41,000 to 43,000 kilometers, it is the closest of Neptune's rings. The La Verrier ring was named after the guy who predicted the location of Neptune. This ring is just around 113 kilometers broad and quite thin. The Lassell ring is Neptune's widest ring. It is named for William Lassell and is located between 53,200 and 57,200 kilometers from Neptune, making it 4,000 kilometers wide. The Arago ring is 57,200 kilometers away from Earth and less than 100 kilometers wide. Adams, the outer ring was named after John Couch Adams, who is credited with co-discovering Neptune. Despite being just 35 kilometers wide, the ring is the most renowned of the five owing to its arcs. Adams' arcs are regions where the material from the rings is clumped together. Although there are five arcs on the Adams' ring, the three most well-known are Liberty, Equality, and Fraternity. The arcs are the brightest regions of the rings and were found initially. Scientists are baffled by the presence of these arcs, which should disperse material equally across the rings according to the principles of motion. Neptune's rings are quite black, and they are most likely formed of organic substances that have been baked in space radiation. The rings of Neptune are thought to be quite young, substantially younger than the solar system. Neptune is known to have 14 moons. Neptune's moons are named after several minor sea gods and nymphs in Greek mythology, as Neptune was named after the Roman god of the sea. The biggest moon of Neptune is Triton, while the smallest moon is Hippocamp. We'll go into Triton in more depth later in this video, but first let's take a look at Hippocamp. The moon is so tiny, less than 12 miles wide, and so dark that NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft missed it when the probe flew past Neptune in 1989. Hippocamp was found in July 2013 by Mark Showalter of the SETI Institute. He examined around 150 historical Hubble pictures of Neptune collected between 2004 and 2009. The identical white dot appeared repeatedly. He then calculated a circular orbit for the moon, one rotation around Neptune every 23 hours. Now let's explore Triton. Triton was discovered on October 10, 1846, by British astronomer William Lassell, barely 17 days after Neptune. Neptune has 14 moons, the biggest of which is Triton. It is unique in our solar system since it is the only huge moon that revolves in the opposite direction of its planet's rotation, a retrograde orbit. Triton is thought to be a Kuiper Belt object that was grabbed by Neptune's gravity millions of years ago. It is very similar to Pluto, the best-known Kuiper Belt planet. Triton, like our own moon, rotates in lockstep with Neptune, with one side always facing the planet. However, because of its peculiar orbital inclination, both polar regions alternately face the Sun. The diameter of Triton is 1,680 miles. We are aware that our understanding of Neptune is still incomplete, and there's still a lot to discover and uncover. This journey is just a glimpse into the vast and mysterious universe. We would be delighted to have you join us again as we continue to explore the wonders of our solar system. Thank you for joining us on this journey to Neptune, and remember to always keep looking up.